So, you hated it? Uh, I wouldn't say hate, I just... I wish he had done more. How could he possibly have done more? They were surrounded by zombies. Uh, regardless, I'm caught up now. So it's time for a new show. I believe it's your pick. Mm, I'm taking my time with this one. Yeah, just like that hull. It's looking a lot better since I got up here. Is that before or after you spent a week fixing it? These weather patterns are getting worse. Most of our jobs now are repairing weather damage. Yeah, I really hadn't noticed. Then again, being stuck with you for cycle rotation is just as exciting. You could be worse. You could be stuck with some... Jack? You cut off then. What were you saying? The alarm at Solace is triggered. Solace? That relic? Manually initiated? I've never seen a manual one. Ah. To think you wanted to spend your last shift watching me do all the heavy lifting. Jess, I am on vacation the minute tomorrow's shuttle arrives. I'll contact them and see if it's a false alarm. Well, how do you expect them to reply without power? If they respond, then it's a false alarm. OMG, you're so smart. You see, this is why I should pick the shows from now on. Is this about the zombies? I wouldn't possibly have any idea what you mean. I knew it! Fort Solace. This is Jack Leary, senior engineer, responding to your alarm. Please come in. Jack Leary, responding to Fort Solace alarm. You have everything okay over there? Anything? No. Weird. To trigger the alarm and not respond. Hmm. It's a stone's throw from here. Why don't you check it out? People who use that expression don't normally apply that logic to Mars. <laughs> <laughs> that vacation can't come soon enough. What's going on, everybody? Thanks for tuning back in. Um, today we're doing something a little bit different. We are playing Fort Solace, and I do not have a camera on. There's a lot of dialogue in this game, and I didn't want to distract from the game itself, and it looks really, really good, so I'm going to stick without a face cam for this full series here. But right now, looks like we got a distress call from Fort Solace. And I guess we're going to probably be going to, uh... Uh, I'm heading down now. We can take the LTV. I need to repair this hull before the storm gets worse. I think we have an hour or so before it hits. Okay, I can pick you up on the way back. So we're definitely going to be going to Fort Solace to respond to the distress beacon. I guess we're leaving her here to fix this hull? I saw this game played, the, uh, the demo of it, back before this fully released and it looked so good i switched comms frequency just no problem i'll finish up here and then if you're not back in time i can take the htv roger that check out <laughs> how many times do i have to tell you this isn't the military okay it's fine roger that don't get lost it gave me kind of dead space mixed with alien isolation vibes um so i'm really excited to actually get into this but let's go ahead and get into our rover. We're going to leave her here to fix that while we go to Fort Solace. Set course for Fort Solace. Calculating. Jack Leary, senior engineer on route to Fort Solace. In the Planum Quadrant responding to an alarm. Suspected power failure. I'll wait for other information. Recording submitted. Okay, I'm heading to Solace. Keep an eye on that storm. I doubt it'll pass me by unnoticed.
Solis? Jack Leary here. Entering your perimeter. Do you copy? Solace is locked down. Well, there goes your power theory. Why would it be in lockdown? System damage? Dare I suggest more weather damage? Yeah, maybe, but lockdown seems extreme. Is there no sign of security? No, they must be done for the night. Storm's picking up here. How about over there? Full swing here, so I've hopped in the HTV to keep you company. Lovely. It was that or nap the storm out. <laughs> I'm flattered. And I can't nap with that noise, so you're happy. Chairman, listen, I'm gonna head to the atrium. Make contact there. Okay. So why do we look like Iron Man? We do we do look a little bit like Iron Man. But anyway, that was quite a short trip to Fort Solace. Also, why do they have security? Oh, there's something over here. Let's go over here first. I mean, I assume that if they are populating Mars that they would be multiple different factions out here, so maybe that's why they've got security. So, but anyway, let's let's look at this here real quick. Access denied. Lockdown in full effect. I'll head to the atrium and make contact there. Okay. So, can't get in there, so we're going to have to probably go over here. Maybe there's like an elevator? Kind of looks like an elevator shaft. Or can we go up here? Let's take a look up here real quick. But this game looks really, really, really good. I'm really excited. I mean, it's been sitting, like, in my wish list for weeks now, and just haven't gotten around to actually finally playing it, and I finally got a free day, so... Yeah. You see anything there? Nope. No? <laughs> I've had this on way too long. This an elevator? It kind of looks like a like an elevator or something. Yeah. Access denied. Oh come Lockdown on. In full Let me on. What do I? What am I supposed to do? Oh, there's a, oh there's a hatch there. Oh, it looks like there's a. Oh no, it's like a climbing rope wire. Guess we're doing this thing. <sighs> All right, buddy. Looks like I'm climbing for now. Climbing. Well, the lift's out and the storm's on its way. Roger. Over and out. Oh, who's a cool kid? Seriously, though, make sure you're wired in. Oh, Whether pushing the wrong buttons. <laughs> I was pushing E and Q. No idea why I even tried to repair the hull. <laughs> Let's go, buddy. You can do it. You're a master rock climber, aren't you? All right, one foot in front of the other. Okay, so we just... There we go. A little bit of lag, don't worry. Must be loading, that's okay. Oh gosh. No, 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 no. You're fine, you're fine. Hang on there, buddy. Has the storm hit you yet? How are you getting on? It's been a while since I was out in a storm. It still hurts. Weather resistance suits my arm. I'll take that as a hard yes then. I mean, I don't know how it would be. I mean, you've got all that sand. This place really is a relic. And, like, debris and stuff blowing at you. Oh, you've got to be kidding. What? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. I don't know if any amount of protective suit would actually help. But, you know, what do I know? All right, swing. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. I missed my button, I missed my button. Stupid quick time events. Oh no, don't fall, don't end already. <laughs> time to quit beer. No, <laughs> no, it's not time to quit beer. But yes, I agree. It's definitely time to quit climbing. Oh, next time, I'm just cutting the door. You had your tools and chose to climb. Yes, been a long day. I like their like back and forth. It brings like it's it opens up like a uh, sense of ooh, chapter one, the dark descent. Um. 
I'll head over to the atrium, see if anyone's home. Nothing on local comms? No. But there's something a lot of games lack. Paint the picture for me. What, of Solace? <laughs> it's old school. Still got single structures. You should feel right at home then. <laughs> it certainly doesn't look welcoming. I'm saying nothing. But it's something a lot of games lack. Like, they don't build that. There's, like, no character development in a lot of games. Especially a lot of the games that I play. I play, like, a lot of indie stuff. So it's nice to have a game where they're actually building, like, a relationship at the very beginning of the game. Lockdown in effect. Strange. The lock overrides are still on. It's not strange. It's protocol when a lockdown is triggered. Oh, look at that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we're too smart for your locks. Oxygen reserves are still active. Well, the backup generator maintains oxygen levels. Did you think they just powered the light? Uh, well, not anymore. All right. We are inside. Cool, cool. Can we take like our, our helmet and stuff off now? Or first aid kits, first aid kits, okay. Oh, that's really cool. So they've figured out a way to grow plants on Mars. I mean, obviously, if they're stationed up here, they need to like, they've figured out how to do a lot of stuff. So that makes sense. Just gonna leave it there? Like, you good with just leaving it there? Uh, your comms just went local. Please tell me you didn't remove your helmet. Oh, you know I don't like to wear it all the time. I can't believe you actually removed it on site. Oxygen levels are stable. It's not natural to wear it that long. Are we gonna pretend you're wearing yours? I mean, she's, she's out- I knew it. I'm not the one responding to a lockdown alert. I'll be fine. The backup generators power more than just the lights, you know. At least it's sinking in. They, I mean, she's outside. She's obviously, why, why are you going back down the stairs? I didn't do that. Come on, buddy. This is where I want to be. I don't care where you want to be. But yeah, she's outside. She's definitely wearing hers. So what is this? Hell of a storm on the way. Uh, should I leave those closed? Oh no, that's okay. It's closing it on me. That's good. That's probably smart. So oh, Starwalks in full swing here too. They are amazing. People back home just can't imagine it. A star is a star. What's the big deal? This is why I go with Karen. Like, okay, so I don't know if any of you out there have ever been out like to the desert oh, or. Did you look at that? Is that directed at me? They still use I five nodes here. Really? Yeah, I'm looking at one now. I'm gonna hold on to it. Anyway, um, if anybody's been out to like the desert or some place where there's not any light as far as like city lights or anything like that, where it's just complete darkness, you're out in the wilderness, you're not close to any cities or not. But wow, the stars, it looks so cool. Well, this is spooky. Why? The place is lifeless. Are you sure you're at the right place? I mean, I think so. Maybe best to grab the schematics. Just to confirm, I can access the site files from here. Good idea. Fort Solace 2053. Even this tree makes me feel old. 2053? It's almost as old as me. Hard to think we've been up here that long. But yeah, like being on another planet and being able to see the stars would be so stinking cool. Okay, so map data. Transfer data, okay. All right, okay, so we got a map there. So how do we actually get to that? Okay, cool. So we've got a map. Oh, there's messages and stuff too. Interesting, oh, three new messages. Hope this finds you well. Your annual leave beginning 2.10 has been approved. Tara wishes you a relaxing and recharging break. Thanks. Catherine Watkins, HR manager. Very funny. I almost put my back out. Mike Spindler. Okay. 
I don't want to alarm anyone here, but someone seems to have fixed the minor vending machines and undone our hustle. I'll investigate. So they've got some kind of hustle going on. Okay. Uh, is there anything in the... Oh, there's a couple audio things. Okay, let's I listen to this. I may be running late, but I can assure you it's not because I lost track of time decorating my helmet. Call signs matter. I had a thought about one for you. Ready? A bear. It matches your mood. See you down there in five. Okay. So who's this Appleton? I know you said this isn't the format for it, but you never answer your phone. I'm in the canteen. I already know the answer to this, but do you want me to bring a beer up to the wreck? I'm grabbing a snack. Let me know. Maybe even record a log back. Wouldn't that be fun? So how do we actually access that tab? Okay. All right. So yeah, tab goes into there. So who's this Appleton woman? Is this his lover? Interesting. Interesting, interesting. So what's this over here? Cole, is there a beer over here we can have? Oh, that's cool. I need that in my life. Like, just walk-in lights. It'd be super nice. You are getting a beer. Of course you are. <laughs> Why wouldn't you be? Look at us. Drinking on the job. We're gonna sit down. Okay, we're gonna sit down too. Okay. Just sit down, look at the tree. Drink our beer. <laughs> it's cool stuff like the little things like this in games is really really cool because it's like they put so much more thought into it other than just like a linear story like a what what fun thing could we do here uh, drinking on the job nothing wrong with staying <laughs> hydrated out here we both know that wasn't water <laughs> you're not the one walking around in the dark that's fair Okay, so there's this way here. There's also that way over there. Let's go down this way first. Uh, I usually backtrack and go the other way because... Oh, wait. Maybe we can't go... Oh, that's what the unit... The power unit is. Okay. It worked. What did? The I-5. No, be careful handling those. They were replaced for a reason. Okay. Well, we're fine now. Ooh. 8-7, mom's birthday call home. Same tactic as me. Can't miss birthdays. Really? You literally said, don't get me anything. <laughs> that sounds nothing like me. <laughs> it's worth a try. I really like their dialogue. Okay, so password. Okay, so what was the... What was on there? 0807. Look at that. Bingo! Managed to find a key card? And I thought I was old. You are old. No one has said bingo since 2030. It, it, that's been longer than that. Okay. To everyone based at Fort Solace, please can all staff take extra care during storm season when on the surface of Mars. Storms are more frequent and can cause serious accidents. Please follow the appropriate safety measures when suiting up. Thanks, Adam Hoskins, site manager. As we approach storm season, all employees are reminded of our ongoing 15% reduction in healthcare plans for a limited time. Please contact your resident medical officer for more information. Anna, you won't believe what happened last night. We need to have a coffee break. Canteen in 10, no eye rolling. Okay, so that's personal stuff. All residents are to remain mindful of the power issues throughout the base. Once again, power is limited and there is to support our primary systems. Okay, documents, no documents available. System surveillance, ooh. Oh, yes. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Ooh, we got a... Did we get something on our message or something? Let's take a look here. Oh, okay. So all the... All these go into our, our thingy here. Um, anything that we see on there. So it gets transferred to, to us. That's pretty cool. Okay. Oh, Rubik's Cube. You won't solve How it. How do people solve these? Oh, can we actually do this? Probably not. It looks like we only spin one side. Oh. I bet you there's an achievement for doing this, but I'm not. Okay, yeah. Well, <laughs> let's let's not sit here and waste an hour of my time and not accomplish anything. All right. It's so creepy when everyone's off. We spend most of our time alone fixing sites in space. 
Never alone with a phone. That's gratitude for you. You could do a lot worse. Yeah, we could. Content unlocked. Okay. Interesting. What's oh, what's this? Get a little toy? <laughs> These stuff like this is so cool in games. Ah! Look at that little guy go. How's the search going? Uh, it's ongoing. Yeah, sounds it. <laughs> This guy is like legit me, just like checking out the toys. Like, oh, people are probably in danger, but guess what? I'm gonna play with this toy and drink a beer. Oh, oh, okay. So you can unlock the doors. That'll help me access the lower levels. There we go. Yeah, I knew I it read that, but I didn't see the little settings thing on the. I'm going to head down to the B levels and check there. Okay on the door like next to where it said like the door um i didn't see the the thing where i could actually access more there so okay cool let's get through here then unlocked huh, that's new interesting of course nothing can ever go right nothing ever ever i also turn on subtitles for you guys to make it easier for you guys to uh to see what everybody's saying in case it gets too loud like the background noise and stuff Still no sign of anyone. Where could they be? Maybe they're close to Fremont, the surface of Mars feeding on brains. Uh, we'll be back on this. I'm just saying his sacrifice <laughs> was heroic. I'm glad to see chivalry isn't dead. Yeah, but he did die? How romantic. So I wonder what they're talking about. Like, what show are they talking about? With, like, the zombies and everything. Yeah, I don't know. But I really, I really like the dialogue between these two. Like, it definitely makes it seem like they've been working up here together for, like, a long lockdown time. In effect. So, yes, I know. Lockdown in effect. So it looks like... Level two. Level access. two key card. Okay. Required. So we're going to find key cards. Level three. Access. Required. Level three. So we need level two, level three to get through those doors. Okay. We don't need anything to get through this one. The loading in this is a bit jittery. It definitely, um, definitely loads a little wonky, but that's okay. Oh my goodness. These t-shirts. <laughs> that is great. These like coffee. Thirsty Martian. Terra. Interesting. That's pretty cool. They look like coffee bags, but they're probably just the shirts all wrapped up. Ooh, can we can we work out? Let's get a little workout in. Oh, nice. We can. <laughs> it says I don't work out in real life that much. I'm gonna work out in a video game. Sorry, guys. It'll be a second. <gasps> no, all right. <laughs> Got worn out already, didn't you? Wonder if that's all we can do in here. Can we like use any of the equipment? No, it doesn't look like it. Now I just really like. Whenever, oh, <laughs> we do the stair, the stairmaster, the stairmaster five thousand. Let's do it. In my youth, <sighs> were we even up here back then? <laughs> I just like the idea that we're we're coming to Fort Solace to figure out what the this distress distress beacon is, and we're just like drinking beer and working out, getting on the stairmaster, you know. It just, it's just funny to me. <laughs> so what do we need here? Door locked. Just a, just a, probably a computer. Okay, so no, no access card for that one there. It's like that one there is locked as well. Okay, there's one over here that's not locked. That one doesn't look like it's locked, but what can we get out of here? Can we get a t-shirt? Benny thinks someone is on to us. Yeah, he dropped me a message saying he told them it was you. What? <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, if only they knew. I can barely use it with credits. It's the perfect crime. Indeed. <laughs> so like, like they've got some kind of thing on the vending machines where they're like taking money or whatever, which is pretty funny. Ooh, is this like the rec room? Ooh, this is cool. 
Remember that time you hit a seven ball on Chris? <laughs> he lost his mind. I think it was long gone before that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Too many solo jobs out here. You find a table. Let's play some pool. Still got it. Still got it. Look at us. Still got it. <laughs> go for a walk when we play. Yeah, oh, in my Boston heyday, I could have given you a game. <laughs> sure. Yeah, sure. Dead Solar. At least Solar had a more engaging premise. Dead Solar. Yeah. It was just an idiot clearly searching a haunted station. Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> I just heard it. Huh. Oh, for the record, I'm not searching. I'm investigating. You are investigating. Yes. Let's play some poker now. Can we play poker? Dead man's hand. That's all I need. What about over here? Oh, I'd never get out of that with my back. <laughs> Dude, same. Same. We both have bad backs. I knew I knew that we had more in common than just our dashing good I think looks. This is the only time I've ever seen a rec room empty. You finally have that peace and quiet you always wanted. Not quite how I imagined it. Still no sign of anyone. Not a soul. There should at least be an officer around. Yeah. Level five. I'll keep looking. Okay, I'll try and access the records from here. See who the officer on duty is. Okay. Okay, so that one back there we need a level five key card for. Okay, so that's locked. Put this here, canteen. Hello? Made contact? Uh, <laughs> maybe with the shadow of a fridge. I think you may have been up here too long. I don't know. It looks like there's like a body. Somebody like slumped over the table there, maybe? I don't know. Crew quarters. Okay. It's all I want in life is just lights that will just turn on whenever I walk into a room. That I can, you know, deactivate for certain times of day. Okay, was this like a storage room? Hey! Guess what I found? Am I actually supposed to guess? Uh, well, you remember when we first came up here? Before they started arguing over the territory? Yeah. They still have one of those old Earth Force flags. Earth what? Well, not that. I think it was called Earth Expedition Force. <laughs> it wasn't that either, but yeah, I know what you mean. Well, they still have theirs. And where did you find that? In a supply room. Why are you in a supply room? I miss peanut butter. <laughs> Took a chance. Priorities. <laughs> I miss peanut butter. <laughs> Dude, the dialogue in this is fantastic. Oh my goodness. I miss peanut butter. <laughs> now, the walking is not what as fantastic. Are you doing? I'm resetting the lock. I do. Oh. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. What if someone's hurt? Ooh. It's justified. That's not how it works at all, but... Okay. The most logical place for them to be is their quarters. There we go. I know that WASD are right there on my keyboard. However, the order in which my fingers are placed on them eludes me. Private room. Boy, this is starting to open up something bigger. Key card access. That looks locked. Well, I don't know now. Maybe because we've got the thing to unlock some stuff. I don't know if we can unlock this with our with our wrist pad thingy. No. Okay. Looks cozy. Life of luxury for some, I guess. How do you know? You can't even see it. It's hard to be worse than the engineering shack miner. Access required. <laughs> yeah, that's a fair point. So whose room is this? Helen Dunpart, chief botanist. Never seen anything like that. Sample C26. Hi, Helen. Once again, we are having issues with escaped bees. Not for the first time this month. They have somehow infiltrated the, a colleague's suit. <laughs> Could this please be looked at as it is making certain team members rather uncomfortable? <laughs> it's the bees in your suit would be quite uncomfortable. 
Helen, the new approach to phase testing has really helped us isolate the growth aspects of the candidate. Previous phases have been too aggressive. This follows us to focus on varying samples in isolation. I believe this will help lead to stronger batches in the immediate future. Okay, so this is making me feel like there are some kind of experiments going on with plants? And then something weird happened? Like, I don't know, I don't know. That's where my mindset's at right now. Just following up from our meeting this evening, I continue to stress concerns about the health of Nick's team. I fear you are not taking this issue seriously. I am keen to discuss the matter further with you. Let me know when you have a moment. Wyatt Taylor. Hi, Helen. Just checking in before tonight's run. If you could ping me over what you need, that would be great. Thanks, Nick Trout. It was great to see you earlier. Not many venture out in our shack. I have reset your password as requested. Sorry to hear about your login issues, but hopefully these are now resolved. Please remember to reset the password the first time you log in. Passcode 020689. Thanks, Adam Nadiri. Okay. Oh, we've got actual video stuff. Signing off the week no more hopeful than we were at the start. The soil here, on the solus planum, continues to show encouraging signs of adaptation, but the plant life that interacts with it, however, seems to aggressively grow and expire, almost like an accelerant. Our planet is dying, just like these plants. We're running out of time. Tomorrow is a new day. Okay. So the planet's dying, so Earth is dying? Because obviously Mars isn't alive. You know, not like Earth is anyway. Progress, if you can call it that, has been rising since we introduced the new formula. The results we have now can buy us time to... Two, Helen. That's two now. There's nothing to suggest it has anything to do with Compound 26. Liar! They have been transporting this stuff for months and... I don't know what to tell you, Wyatt. It has nothing to do with what I'm trying to do here. Uh, I have a duty here. And the work you're doing... It needs looking into. Well, unless you have clearance, I don't see that happening. People are getting sick, Helen. They're getting sick. How can you not see that? Because it's not true. This is confirmation bias, Helen. You know it. Is this still on? Okay, so it seems like they're doing experiments like the compound, whatever she said. Anyway, um, and it's making people sick. I think that's what I'm getting from that. What on earth is going on here? Hear that? I said, what on earth is going on here? Honestly, I meant the monitor. Ah. Your helmet has a much better mic. Yeah, nice try. So, the soil, I guess they're trying to plant things on the soil here on Mars, and it's accelerating the growth of plants, but causing them to die fast as well. And then he comes in and says that compound 26 is, like, I guess causing uh, people to get sick. I don't know. I want to. I want to. I want to take that. Don't close it. So what is that? There we go. There we go. What is this? Interesting. Helen Dunpart, chief assistant. Oh, we took her little, a little, uh, memory card. Oh, we can put it in there. Interesting. So these are the two that we watched, and there's a third one. Okay. Taylor is becoming increasingly hostile to the work we're trying to do here. He doesn't understand the people we can save. We're so close now. I can feel it. The storms are coming, but once the season passes, we should be able to ship Compound 26 to other sites. It's, it's, it's funny, really. Today I was asked if the cost of our work, if the, the toll that it's taken, 
was worth it. It's a small price to pay. Okay, so... So they're... Uh, it sounds like they're... Like, Earth is probably dying, like we said before. They came here, I guess they're... People are getting... I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't want to speculate too much. But, what is I this? I don't know if I could ever get used to that. Used to what? You know, the, um... The, the weather windows. <laughs> you mean the climate simulators? Yeah, well, I prefer my name better. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? <laughs> weather windows. I like it. Level four. But yeah, like, there's some kind of experiments going on with these plants, and... What is she doing? Honestly? I couldn't help myself. <laughs> I'm already down here with nothing but a helmet light. I don't need a soundtrack. How's that helmet working out for you? Just splendid. <laughs> Good to hear. You liar. I still don't know how you even watch those old movies. It's not easy, but it's worth it. Okay, so this door up here looks like it's busted. Maybe we can get through it. And that's intriguing whatever's going on. What is this? Whoa! This takes me back. There's just so many like little details in this. It's just so cool. Oh, a key card. Nice. That's a start. This should make getting around easier. They will mind if I borrow it. <laughs> yeah. It's fine. Yeah, let's just take it. Okay. So we just scanned it onto our wrist. So now we can access level one places. So. That's a shame. A place like this must have a secret room somewhere. <laughs> he was looking, looking for a secret room. Another bathroom. Oh, wait, is that blood? Yeah, that's definitely blood. That's one hell of a nosebleed. Oh, okay, yeah, that's definitely a nosebleed. If somebody just ate too much ramen, their bl exploded. Oh, this one opened. Okay, cool. I was just walking by, like checking all of those, see which one was uh, unlocked and not. Okay, what do we have in here? What is this? Book? I open this bad boy up. Creepy. That is creepy. I'm guessing a flickering light shadow demon. Close. <laughs> I think I'm looking at a face in the wind. Okay, now I need to know. This some drawing I found. Ah, yes. The scavenger hunt continues. <laughs> this is too good. This is a rock? Yes, I found a fellow believer of yours. Oh, really? <laughs> what did you ask them? What triggered the lockdown? What? Exactly. Well, let's hope for my sake that that isn't what actually happened. It's like a believer in all alien aliens, I'm sure. Okay, so I just grabbed another one of those battery things, I think. Um, what's this? A quiet taste, I guess. Seaweed. <laughs> Never had it, but... Doesn't seem too appetizing, to be honest. I've heard it's really, really good, though. But there's a lot of people also uh, like weird stuff, so. Uh, you remember that time we went to see No Escape? Remember it? I'll never get those hours back. Oh, what a show. Underdog de Pebble. Oh, wait, there's something up top here I didn't see. Can I. What's this? Test specimen, do not open. Can I, okay, I mean, that's fair. I don't. Crazy what these samples go for back home. Oh, soil samples. Okay. I get it. I get it. Hello? Yeah, so all the others. There's no one here. Um, try the medical bay. There's always someone on duty. But what if an injury caused the lockdown? Records say Level it's Wyatt Taylor. Required. Mm. Roger. <sighs> Level five. Wyatt. Access. So we've seen that name before. Level three. 
on one of the things that we read. Sorry, I'm just checking all the doors to make sure that we didn't miss anything. So medical bay. So can we actually figure out where that's at? Okay, so there's med bay. Took me a second to find it. But, so atrium two. It's on a different level, so. Compound 26 can save lives. The soil, it accelerates, it creates compulsion. The work we have done here will only further the effort on Mars. Others will come here. I'm recording this as I hear more than just dust against the glass at night. The storms have arrived. No one trusts anyone anymore. I have left a core sample of Compound 26 in my steel drawer within my office. The code is 0721. It can be our salvation. Not that we deserve it. Okay, so Helen left a compound 26 sample, I think, in uh, her office in a drawer. And it's locked, so we've got the code for that now. Okay, got the medical bay. We can finally get in there. Let's check these doors first. Level 5, access required. Level 5 there. So there's multiple floors. Level three. Level three. Okay. Required. Let's get into med bay. So we found the thing that we need for this, I believe. Oh, God. What is? The door. It's been sabotaged. Sabotaged? Something snapped the manual lever off. <gasps> Something? Stop it. You know what I mean. <laughs> That's, dude, they're it's so Why would good. Someone remove the power supply. From the door? Yeah. I have another i5 I can show. These i5s, why did we stop using them? The i5? They just became too unstable. Any surge would be dangerous. Why? No reason. Do not try to surge that door open. I wouldn't dream of it. There we go. Man. I just, I know it's W-A-S-D, and my fingers are just like backwards on that. Okay, search the medical bay, all right. Man, okay, so what's this here? Some kind of workplace medical examination report. Okay, Dawson Roberts, date of birth. So dizziness, loss of balance, low blood pressure needs to stay within radiation safety limits, potential radiation poisoning, daily administration of potassium iodide, check up in two weeks. Um, Selim et Etoir, irritable right eye and dizziness, symptoms potentially caused by radiation exposure, ruling out vestibular disorder with CT scan. Okay. So these must be the people that, um, that were getting sick that we heard, what was her name, Helen? talk about or well the guy that came into Helen's room talk about so Terra care please take additional care to support your team through this turbulent weather period if any medical staff require support don't hesitate to call on our fantastic resources we look forward to watching all residents on a star walk this evening star walks help us remind us the spectacle that your residency provides we hope that you can join us Begins at 1900, Xavier or Xavier Ortega. Many of you are aware of the exposure cases I treated last week. I request you please respect the limited surface access safeguards that are in place. I would appreciate you all leading by example and not participating in tonight's Star Walk if you are experiencing any symptoms outlined in my mail. Please see me directly if you are Wyatt Taylor. Okay, so that's who they were talking about before, Wyatt Taylor. Oh, this is Wyatt Taylor. Okay. Okay. Um, some good news. I think my work here is beginning to pay off. Tout's team uh, is finally beginning to listen to my warnings about exposure. They recorded higher rad levels at the site this week and I've had to treat two of his staff for uh, radiation uh, sickness. Dawson is showing signs of hypertension and Selene complained of dizziness. Um, current treatment is daily administration of potassium iodide. I'm pretty sure we caught it quick, but out of an abundance of caution, I'll go ahead and schedule a CT scan for Selene um, just to rule out vestibular disorder. Um, 
I just have no idea why these guys insist on working such long hours at the site. They know that it's against regulations, I just don't think that they're fully aware of the risks. But who knows, maybe the taste of seaweed in their mouth will remind them to put their health first. Okay. So he must be, Wyatt must be the doctor. Yeah, that's, that's my my guess here. So system is uh, no accessible systems found. Same with surveillance. Okay. Oh, what's this another poster? Medical. <laughs> oh, I chose the wrong profession. <laughs> Ooh, what's it? Oh, that's blood. Uh-oh. I think there may have been an incident here. An incident? Well, what, what makes you think that? Just a feeling I have. A feeling? Or well, is Officer Taylor there? I'll check. He's not going to tell her. He's not going to tell her that there's blood. Okay, so he's keeping it from her. I get it, I think. Access denied. Oh, of course it is. Okay, that's fine. Still got another way. I mean, that's a lot of blood. Okay, yeah, there's definitely something happened here. I wonder what it was, though. Like... Is the stuff, is this compound 26 driving people crazy and like making them kill everybody or, or like what's going on? I guess we're going to figure out. Okay. So we can, we can get in here. I just had to turn around there. Don't worry about it. Okay. So there's a few things in here for us. Some kind of uh, memory stick or something. There we go. Give me your goods. Uh, Seem, I'm putting this on the network as a reminder to both you and myself to please fix my video calling. Um, it's great that I can talk to you, but I would like to talk to my family. So, let me know the status. Thank you. Okay, so he is. So these people are probably from Earth, obviously, and they've come up here to do research and stuff. So he's requesting that they fix his video camera so he can actually talk to his family. Oh, we're going to do it. Remember when Tom got drunk and ate a soil sample? <laughs> <laughs> I had completely forgotten about that. Yeah. Has the game of truth or dare ever ended well? He was in ISO for days. I can't imagine how he lasted two weeks in that room. Me neither. <laughs> Some of the dialogue in this game... It's just so unexpected. Because this guy is just all nonchalant. Like, he obviously doesn't think that anything's going wrong. And he's just saying it how it is. Oh, I thought that was a body back there. Okay, so there's there's a lot of blood here. What happened here? Ooh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Okay, so we got these... This bloody clothes back here. I found Officer Taylor's SIA. He's not in it. If he was in it, then I would have found Officer Taylor. <laughs> Why would he take it off? I think maybe he was injured. The blood on this suit matches the waiting room. Okay, do one final sweep and we just call the search over. This, it doesn't feel right. Agreed. Okay. So he didn't, he didn't tell her about the blood in there, but now that he found, so that's Wyatt Taylor's suit. Um, that's the doctor. Okay. So something has happened to him. And hopefully we find out what it is. I'm not a kid. Um, I don't need to be told that sometimes things just go bump in the night. And yes, I know that there are storms happening outside. The storms, they, they don't, they don't make these sounds. I hear deliveries and activity at night. Something is going on here. And I, I need to find out what. So I will confront Nick about my findings tomorrow. Okay, so Wyatt is hearing stuff. So is he going, is he getting like sick too and just hearing things? Or 
are there actual like creatures or something around? I don't know. Oh, we can get in here too. Okay. Wait, whose is this? Oh, this looks like um, was it Helen's with the plants and stuff? Yeah, maybe we can get into her uh, her desk with that code. Rachel, is that aloe vera? Kind of looks like aloe vera. I don't know if it is or not, but it might be her room. Okay, A. Hoskins. Hi, Wyatt. Rest assured that the backup power maintains full support for all medical facilities on our site. Our persisting power issues should not affect your department. Thanks, Adam Hoskins, site manager. Thanks for contacting Adam about accessing the engineering sector. As per Officer Richardson's multi-tool access plan mandate, my team is not able to accommodate your request at this time. Happy to talk about it further in the canteen tonight. Thanks, Nick. So here's Helen. My colleague has left you a sample plant as requested on the A level of the greenhouse. Please let me know if it's satisfactory. So I wonder if that's the Rachel plant that we just saw. You know I'm not able to comment on the operations of other departments. I understand your concerns, but I can assure you nothing untoward is occurring on this site. Have you tried speaking to Helen about it? I really think that would help. Has Asim fixed your video calling? Let me know, Adam. I genuinely didn't know you could change the difficulty. Thanks for showing me. Wait, what? Change the difficulty? Like, about the game itself? <laughs> That's kind of funny. I finally got to speak to Chris and the girls. Their smiles. I wish I could just bottle that up. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to getting home back after this stew. I know that these medical logs are designed to aid our mental health and should anyone actually monitor these things, I want you to know that as a medical officer, I concur in theory. But in practice, I just, I need to spend time with my family. That's what I really need. And not just watch them. I need to see them. Because that's what I'm doing right now. I'm watching them through a screen. <laughs> I think these next five months are going to be a lot longer than I anticipated. Uh... Oh, and remind me to speak to Helen about getting Rachel a space plant. Because that's what she wants. That's so sad. He's obviously missing his family and can't, like, actually be with them. So Rachel, so that plant is for his daughter, Rachel. There's blood on the desk. I just realized that. Wow. Okay. All right. That's not good. The situation regarding site exposure is a growing concern. I've spoken with Tau numerous times, increasing safety regulations. Today... Today wasn't good. One of Nick's staff was admitted after suffering from extreme dehydration and fatigue. We had to sedate him. His hands wouldn't stop shaking. And after the patient vomited blood, he was sent to center point for further treatment. They'll administer standard care for hematemesis. I strongly recommend it based upon the current situation here at DTPA, but unfortunately at that point it's... Either way, the incident has been reported. Something's going on here. And I need to find out what it is. Okay, so Wyatt definitely knows that something's something's going on. Um, so override over door override system unlock door. Oh. Only one way to find out. There we go. Have you find Officer Taylor? Maybe. I'm going to take a look. Okay, so he knows that there's something different than just dehydration going on here, and he's probably stumbled onto it, and that's the cause for the blood. That's my assumption. 
Um, but do we have anything new on here? Nope, nothing new there. Okay. Okay, so we've got medbay unlocked. That's what we needed. So, let's get down there. Hopefully it's through, maybe through here. Ooh, it's very bright. Wow, what's this? Why would you? Why? Ooh, like, how I wish I had my helmet on. <laughs> you should you? always have your helmet on. <laughs> well, that makes two of us. Oh, oh, it's a furnace. Okay. Oh, burning. Probably bodies. Yeah. Why would you? Oh, it's a, obvious a hazmat bin. Why would you open it and like sniff it? I wonder where that goes. I, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know where that would go. Anyway, let's get to med bay. All right. <laughs> Here we are. Finally made it to Med Bay. Ooh. Don't tell me that's Wyatt. I mean, it, it makes sense, like all the blood like on his clothes and stuff. Jack? It's the guard, he's dead. What? No, it's Richardson. Okay, somebody An different. Accident? I'll take a look. Kind of looked like him there for a second. Wyatt. No, I don't think this was an accident. Are you sure? Yeah, I think so. Tag reads Richardson, security uniform. Okay, now we know why security didn't greet you. So, yeah, it looks like he's gotten stabbed. Richardson, there we go. Uh, perimeter checks complete. Weather damage minimal. Uh, most of the crew have already departed for center point. Uh, I'm still exploring the unexplained damage to the drill bay exterior door. Um, however, given that storm season is upon us, I'm not concerned about foul play at this moment. Uh, due to the damage, the door is offline for maintenance, and I've asked Officer Hoskins to inform the residents to avoid any uh, disruption. Okay, so something has damaged that door. Is that the same door that we are trying to come into? Raise voices in private quarters. I feel perfectly safe. I'm not sure why you would be concerned. If the situation changes, rest assured you would be the first person I would inform. Thanks, Helen Dunpart. Okay, and lights out. I have reduced power as requested to coincide with the curfew. I've also limited power in areas no longer active during storm season. I have some theories as to the scratch marks on the drill bay door if you want to hear them. Let me know. Okay, yeah, close his eyes. So our PDF does give us different uh, different things whenever we actually uh, plug in somebody's memory card. So, so now we've got level 2 access. Okay. Officer Taylor isn't here. But what the hell is going on there? No idea. It's time we update Central. I'm on it. Okay. Yeah. So there's something over here for us. Can we wash our hands? Probably a good idea after touching that. Oh, nope, it's not. What the hell happened down here? That's definitely the murder weapon. Maybe. I mean, it's covered in blood and there's no extremities, like, you know, missing. So looks like uh, some very small hands. That's very weird. I don't really like that. If there are like murderous children running around here, I'm gonna be very upset. Okay, I've lost the update. It's time to head to the LTV. Oh, there's somebody out there. I really don't want to go out there. Oh, come on, man. Agreed. I'm on my. <laughs> So, so we need to get back to our helmet then. That's what she's saying. So we're going to be like losing oxygen here soon. That's not good. 
So we gotta hurry back. I thought about grabbing it. What the hell is going on here? But I didn't think that I could. I assumed that he probably would have just left it there. Um, but we've got to get back up and get our helmets. This is all I need. So it's contamination purge is initiated and oxygen levels are reducing. They're at 80% right now, so. Finally. There we go. We finally found it. Come on. Come on, buddy. You can do it. There we go. Oh, we're at the bottom of the stairs now. Okay. That's good. What happened? Are you contaminated? I'm not sure there was a contamination. What do you mean? I'm not sure. What? Someone was down there with me. I'm heading back up to the surface level now. Down there with you? Who? I don't know. Okay. Um, it's kind of urgent. You should probably be jogging, maybe? What now? Airlock breach. Airlock breach. Get your helmet on. 